children's piece today is The Invention of Margaret E. Knight. Necessity is the mother of invention. This is the true story of a young woman who heard things but did not understand them. Who invented out of necessity. Who was determined to stay alive in a world that demanded her silence. The mother of invention. I am no one's mother. The, the wife, wife of creativity. creativity. I am no one's wife. The, the daughter, daughter of design. design. I am no one's daughter. Then who are you? My name is Margaret E. Knight, and it was me who did it. Hmm. Well, what is this that I can't see? With eyes gone and taken no. Well, I am dead and uncanny, sound all open the door to heaven or hell. Many fathers are dead. This is not special. Oh, death, would someone pray? Could you wait to call me another day? Each day hangs long and dark and horrible, and she feels like she is dying. But she won't whisper a word. Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over till another year? Death makes the world silent and still. Did you know that? And, and the, the sound, sound of her own breathing <sighs> is so loud she wants to die. Bury me. But life pushes onwards. And her mother decides there's no more room for learning. Her, her mother decides there's only room for work. But mother, Maddie, there are things we want and things we need, and they never meet. Show me your hands. I told you once, I told you a thousand times, do not be digging those infernal machines in town. They'll take your hands off. But mama, no one can fix them. Not any of the farmers, not any of the men. What are you thinking, you foolish girl? Embarrassing men like that? You will steal your heart or no one will have you. Do you hear me? Mama! Someone must tell you these things, girl. Do you hear me? Yes, Mama, I hear you. To hear and to understand are two very different things. And what relief that is. Now go. Go. You'll be late to work. At the cotton mill. The part of any notice in the cotton mill is that the air doesn't move. As still as if you were underwater. And, and when, when you breathe in, you taste something ghastly. How do you live in here? Living is a privilege. Here we survive. Tie your hair back or you'll get scouts like Penelope Hardwell. <laughs> Move your fingers faster or you'll lose them like John Gilman. Yeah! Step back from the loom unless you want to get gutted by Abigail Walter. Yeah! Maddie, how was work? It was. Yeah! What did you say? I said it was. Yeah! She'd been going for two weeks when she said, I can't go back. Because if she stayed in the mill, the necessity would be death. Bury yourself. Do you understand me? I can't go back. I can't, I can't go back. Hey! What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be on the line. I, I don't care. I can't go back. Can't? Who told you you were allowed to say that? No! No, I'm not an animal. Just mindlessly work every day without Girl, me. listen to yourself. You have a job. Not everybody does. People die here. People die everywhere. At least we can make money. What's your name? Patty. I'm Sally. I'll help you. And so she went back. And, and for the, the first time, she
she wasn't alone. Never look away from your hands. Never talk while you work. Never let your mind drift. Never let your eyes wander. Do you hear me? Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Understanding. I have nightmares about this place. Every night, every single night, and then I wake up and I come here. Understanding? Yes. My sister was born with a leg all knotted up like the trunk of a tree. The doctor's bills alone. And everyone's always so hungry and tired. My father, well. What's he like? As usual as a dead body. My father is dead. Lucky you. Understanding? No. Just heard. My older brother, Jeremiah, died in the mill, but I don't want to talk about that. Death carves out a piece of you, and I want to pretend like I don't notice. Understanding? Yes. What does it mean to be dead? Does it mean that the air stops moving? And no one can hear you? Then aren't you dead, Margaret E. Knight? Aren't you dead? All is well in the cotton mill, as well as things can be. And everything is the same. You work and breathe. Work, breathe. Work, breathe. Work, breathe. Work, breathe. Work, breathe. And Mine! Maddie didn't know that her designs had been stolen until he had filed the patent. 
And now this marvelous machine, this device that she had poured her heart and soul and mind into, had been taken from her. Oh, Margaret, what does it really matter? Such a simple invention. You might as well let him have it. Because what can you do? What can you possibly do? You will steal your heart or no one will have you. As useful as a dead body. And you'll keep your mouth closed if you know what's good for you. Because no one will believe that you did it. And in that moment, Margaret knew what it was like to be buried underground. Bury me. And she knew what it was like to not have air. Bury me. And, and she, she knew what it was like to die. Knight, and it was me who did it. Oh. 